Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle. And of course, this is part two of our search to find the greatest version of Kevin Lavrone, as far as the Mr. Olympia is concerned anyway. We're not going to waste any more time, so we're just going to dive right into the action. Of course, the first video featured 1992 versus 93, so today is 94 versus 95, and his placings were pretty close here. He placed third in 94, and he placed second in 95. So I am safe to assume this one will be more of a contest, although it's hard to say here in this first comparison of the front double bicep pose. He's not really hitting it the same way. He's got his lag tilted there, so he appears to be a little bit shorter. But I will say, he looks like he means more business in 1995. No fooling around. A little bit more of a death face, as they call it. The skeleton face from perhaps a little bit more conditioning. Because from what I can tell, his stomach does look a little bit more conditioned, a little bit tighter. But like I said, it's hard to tell because he's not hitting it the same way. But I guess if I had to give an edge, I would towards the 95, but let's have another comparison. Now, here in the rear double bicep pose, and it is plain to see that the conditioning is just head and shoulders above the 94 version here in the 95. Wow, there's an interesting thing about Lavrone here. When he is not quite conditioned, his back seems to be massive. Look how swollen his big lats are and traps. But as soon as he tries to get conditioned and diced, it seems to dwindle and disappear. But for sure, the crispness of that 1995 version just blows away the swollen and massive version of 94. Very interesting, though, ladies and gentlemen. I've never noticed this about Lavron, But it's a... It's a lot of water there in that lower back, so there's just no way that the 94 can handle this sharpness of 95. So it is definitely in my belief that the 95 is a superior bodybuilder. But hey, this is only a couple minutes in, so let's just for the heck of it have a couple more comparison shots. And the rear lat spread here in 1994 is pretty comparable. I would say his wingspan is not quite as grand as in 95, but the conditioning in the lower back seems to be similar. But as I glance down at those hamstrings, there's just no comparison. Look at the conditioning in 95 compared to 94. The deep cuts and the glutes. Glutes aren't too bad in 94. But definitely 95 for sure is the superior Kevin Lavrone. If there was going to be a pose in these two years that he was going to win in 94, it would be this, the most muscular pose. He does appear to be a little bit more large and massive in those delts and pecs. But, I mean, the streamlined conditioning of 95, a keen eye can pick that up. And in my opinion, he probably still would edge out a victory here in the most muscular against himself. I know that sounds ridiculous. So in my opinion, the 1995 version of Kevin Lavrone advances in this little tournament, so it's shaping up. And it looks like our part three will feature the 1996 versus the 1997 version of Kevin Lavrone. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for that video, because I'm sure it will be released soon enough. Hope you enjoyed this one, and have a good day.